hey hey girl hey welcome welcome to my channel if you are new hi beautiful i am kadrian carol it is so nice to have you and we are back for another girl chat ladies we are going to get into what you need to be doing in your season of singleness in addition to that i am going to record another video going over the things that you need to do when exiting out of a relationship when going through a breakup so this is going to be a part one and a part two so let's get into this girl chat if you haven't already please drop a comment down below let us know where you are watching from let us know if you have any additional tips to add onto what i'm saying in addition to that subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell and uh, come over here and sit pretty get paid and live a privileged lifestyle through Christ with your sisters in Christ. We would love to have you ladies. We are in our bags, but we're in our Bibles too. And we are looking to fulfill everything that y'all has called us to fulfill. So let's get into this girl chat. Okay, the first thing that you need to take care of in your season of singleness is your relationship health. OK, you need to identify all of the relationships that you are in as many as possible, whether it's business, whether it's platonic, whether it's romantic, every single relationship between your mother and father, your um, the relationships you have with your siblings, the relationship you have with your coworkers, And you need to write down everything that you feel as if is toxic negative or something that you believe you can do better or change within that relationship it's so important to hold yourself accountable and not be delusional and naive and in denial when it comes to the roles that we play in a season of singleness you are supposed to be bettering yourself sis you are supposed to be working on you and becoming the daughter that Yahweh has created you to become. So sit down and start to critique the relationships within your life. The second thing that you need to take care of in your season of singleness is your emotional and your mental health. Ladies, it is a huge liability to be emotionally unstable or to be led and controlled by your emotions. You should be led by the Holy Spirit and only the Holy Spirit. And so if you find yourself depressed or anxious or, you know, stressed out or overwhelmed or whatever the case may be, during this time of singleness, you should be able to identify what it is that you're feeling you need to seek deliverance within that and you need to seek the joy and the peace and the love of the father we were created to serve him in spirit and in truth we were created to walk and talk with yah the most important title that we will ever have will not be mother will not be sister will not be wife it will be daughter of the most high or not so because this is this time of singleness you need to be identifying why is it that you're not happy in the season father what is it that you call me to do what is it that you that you call me to change work on submit to you what is it so definitely work on your emotional and your mental health deliverance should be a priority when it comes to your season of singleness getting delivered from any and everything that the enemy is trying to hold over your head oppress you with bind you with control you with so that is the next thing that you need to be working on in your season of singleness the next thing that you need to be focusing on in your season of singleness is your social health okay ladies you need to have a life you need to have girlfriends, like-minded women who are living a set-apart lifestyle, who are desiring to live for Yah in spirit and in truth, who are desiring to have holy and godly and righteous relationships and fulfilling their Yah giving purpose. You need to be going out and getting out of the house and, you know, filling your day with purposeful things. You need to be networking. You need to be connecting. There is no way for you to be found by the circles and the sisters and your husband if you were in the house you work from the house you have your uh, groceries delivered to you um, your family comes over the house if they want to see you you never leave the house your social health during this time of singleness needs to be a priority as well you need to be traveling you need to be doing and identifying the things that you enjoy and that brings glory and honor to Yah as an individual because even when you are joined 
with your husband, you will still need to be used by Yah as an individual. Do you understand? There are things that y'all are going to come into agreement with and that you're going to fulfill within the covenant of a Yah given union. But there's also things that you will be called to do. And you have to know what it is that you've been called to do. You have to be comfortable doing it. And you shouldn't need somebody to say, well, babe, get out and, you know, um, you know, do that girls retreat with the women at your church or, you know, you should definitely do that um, mission um, trip or you should do this. You should. No, I just don't want to be anywhere unless you're there or no, I just want to be up under you or no, that's OK. I'd rather be by myself like you need to have a healthy social life that brings y'all glory. So that is another thing you need to focus on in your season of singleness. The next thing that you need to focus on is your financial health. Okay, financial literacy, when it comes to saving, when it comes to investing, when it comes to financial decisions, when it comes to issues with splurging or spending too much money or eating out too much, it does not really matter if you can afford it or not. Okay, if you are not in a state where you make healthy financial decisions, then this is definitely the time that you need to be focused on multiple streams of income that bring y'all glory, growing um, your savings, you know, the emergency fund, like just different investments and just things that God has called you to have to use for his kingdom, to bless others, to be able to take these things in obedience to plant and to sow into others ministries if y'all has called you to do so so definitely 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 take this time to financially get situated if you are working a nine to five if you're working for someone as a daughter of the most high you are called to be a business owner understand that it's going to be a time and a season where we are going to be controlled like during COVID. if you don't take this vaccination if you don't do this if you don't abide by these things if you don't follow these laws if you don't um you know uh keep your personal religious beliefs to yourself if you say this if you engage in this they will start to blackmail you they will start to threaten you and hold your income back hold job positions back hold opportunities back you should not be dependent on a job where you're working for somebody so yes if that's the season where you're in that you're stacking up as much money as you can great but also branch off into kingdom businesses you have to get in a position where you are fully submitted to y'all you're fully dependent on y'all it doesn't matter if it's the mark of the beast being passed around or you can't get food or you can't take care of your you can't clock in to work unless you abide by this rule or regulation you should still be able to have money coming in you shouldn't have to be like, I have to submit because we're going to die and we're not going to be able to eat. We're not going to be able to take care of my family. We're not going to be able to do this. You need to have a backup plan. And during this time of singleness, this is the time to focus on it. Your husband needs to be focused on this. You need to be focused on this. So when you come together, y'all can merge under y'all, you know, the ideas and the things that the Holy Spirit has placed on your heart. See what's in common, what's different, you know, how can we incorporate how you, how things were revealed to you by the Holy Spirit and how things were revealed to, you know, me, you know, through the Holy Spirit. So, yes. Okay, your spiritual walk. Sis, if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is the time to find out who Jesus is. This is the time for you to learn the true characteristics of Yahweh. This is the time to truly understand that life is spiritual. Build a relationship with Christ for yourself. Read your Bible for yourself and truly seek the Holy Spirit and his voice instead of the voices of other people who could be led by other spirits or their opinion or whatever the case may be. So your spiritual walk should be a priority. You should be fasting. You should be praying. You should be fellowshipping. You should be, you know, in church. You should be in your Bible. You should be doing all of these things during this season of singleness. And I'm not saying that once you're not single anymore, you don't continue. But this needs to be a habit, a lifestyle where you are putting your relationship with Christ first. And it must start between you in Christ while you are in your season of singleness while you're single so the final thing that I want to share as far as what you need to be doing in your season of singleness or what we need to be doing in our season of singleness is 
says health and fitness yes ma'am so just came back from the gym and i wanted to record this video for you says you have to be intentional with your health you cannot be used by the father if you are connected to oxygen if you have a cast if you're having health issues yourself if you're barely alive you know because of a stroke a heart attack high blood pressure you're connected to medicine all of these things you need to be intentional when it comes to eating clean and eating healthy discerning you know what it is the holy spirit is saying about certain things you should eat and certain things that you shouldn't eat and even the things that you are supposed to eat is this okay or is it contaminated because of something so you need to be in the gym you need to be building muscle you need to be strengthening your body you need to be winging off of you know certain medicines that is supposed to be healing things but in reality it's keeping you sick because you're still engaging into the things that would be known as the roots of what the enemy is using to cause that infirmity and sickness on you like fast food processed food greasy food fried food sugary food do you understand like there's so many things that you need to be you know looking for natural remedies you know when it comes to lowering cholesterol and you know limiting certain things okay ladies so get in the gym strengthen yourself take care of these temporary vessels that y'all has blessed us with and you know truly take advantage of the season of singleness thank y'all for this time that you have to seek him to identify exactly what it is that he has for you the purpose that he has for you the calling that he has for you and um yeah just Continue to grow into that woman that Yah has called you to be so you can fulfill everything that he has for you. So if you have not received Jesus Christ, Yahshua HaMashiach, as your Lord and Savior, please say this prayer with me. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for sending your one and only begotten Son to pay the wages of my sin. I confess that I am a sinner and deserving of death. I believe Jesus the Messiah is the only one who can save me. I ask you, Jesus, to forgive me and purge me with hyssop to purify my soul. Help me to resist the temptations of the enemy and strengthen me in my weakness to walk in the will of my Father. King Jesus, I ask that you come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I believe that you died on the cross for me. I believe that you were resurrected and that you are our living God. I believe that there is only one way to Yahweh, our Father, and that is through you. Save me. Transform me. I am yours, and I will choose to live for you for the rest of my life. I decree and declare I have received your payment for my sins, and I will live a new life a set-apart life that will be everlasting in you. Thank you, King Jesus, for first loving me. Amen. I love you girls, and y'all loves you so much more. Have a blessed rest of your week. Take care. Bye.